joins us from Islamabad. Ben, I know that you've just returned from Afghanistan. Um, what do you make of, of, of the way the Afghan forces have crumbled in the face of this advance? It's really been stunning, uh, not just for the Afghan army's Western backers, but also for the Afghans themselves. This is an army uh, or combined security force of the army and the, the police, which was supposed to number about 300,000. That's far more than uh, the Taliban numbers, on paper at least. And it's had billions and billions of dollars poured into it. I think the US alone has spent something like $68 billion in the past 20 years. It's fought very hard at times in the, the, in the last few years, but in the last couple of weeks, it's given up, it seems. Apart from some stout defenses by well-led commando units, we've seen time and again the, uh, the Afghan army and the Afghan police have surrendered or they've melted away. Talking to people about why this may have happened, there's a number of reasons. The withdrawal of uh, US air support, NATO air support, has had a vast psychological effect on them. They feel like they're not being supported. But more than that, the, the uh, armed forces have been undermined for a long time by corruption and poor leadership. Soldiers have complained that they don't get fed, they don't have ammunition, they get abandoned when they're surrounded, and they really feel that there's very little reason for them to fight for the government that puts them in these situations. We've known these reasons for a long time, but even having known them, what's happened in the last 10 days has been extraordinary. Do you think the Taliban are surprised even by the, 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 the speed by which they have moved across the country? Or do you feel like this has been a well-organized, well-coordinated, well-planned, uh, effectively messaged insurgency and, and that they have, uh, they have done exactly what they planned to do? I think both those things are true. I think uh, this has been uh, a campaign that has uh, been a long time in the making. The, the uh, Taliban have managed to very successfully uh, reach out to people in the rural districts to try and persuade them that the government was not worth fighting for. But having said that, uh, speaking to Taliban commanders in uh, recent days, they too are stunned by how fast this has happened. They expected that when it came down to it, the army would not fight. But they've told me that uh, the speed and the scale of what's happened has still left them stunned. What else have the Taliban told you uh, during your reporting in, car, uh, in, in Afghanistan? And, and, and what do you think is the time frame or at least the end game uh, when it comes to Kabul in particular? Uh, someone I spoke to yesterday said that uh, there really is no choice now for the President Ashraf Ghani. He has to surrender or as the uh, former Taliban minister I spoke to said, he either has to surrender or he'll end up hanging. Uh, I don't know, it's not clear, there's a lot of uncertainty about whether they will move into uh, Kabul imminently. It's a very difficult situation for all sides. Thousands of American troops have come in uh, and we don't know that if the Taliban move in what they will do. The Taliban, I'm sure, don't know what the American troops will do. <laughs> they may well wait for some kind of surrender or they may well give it a couple of days for the Americans to, keep their, to uh, complete their withdrawal. You're in Pakistan. Uh, obviously, Pakistan has, over the years, provided support to the Taliban. We now know that the largest border between Afghanistan and Taliban is just being closed. Uh, what, what is reaction uh, where you are now to what is unfolding in the region? I think Pakistan is another one of those uh, spectators who's been surprised by what's happened. Pakistan denies having supported the uh, the Taliban, but of course that's not a view that's held in many Western capitals, and certainly the Afghans believe that they, they are responsible for supporting the Taliban. Uh, Pakistan, I think, now uh, fears that it will be caught with a lot of the spillover. They fear a lot of refugees will enter the country, and it may embolden some of... Um, some of the militants who operate inside Pakistan. So there's a lot of uh, worry here as well. And just finally, before we go, is there anger towards the Americans or an acceptance that uh, Mr. Biden, President Biden, uh, felt that whether they stayed another year or five years, as he said, wouldn't make any difference 
to the Afghan forces and the Afghan government. Uh, what is the feeling towards the American decision right now? In Afghanistan, there is a lot of anger. There is a feeling that they've been left behind and betrayed. Uh, and to be in Pakistan as well, we've had politicians uh, complain that uh, America is leaving precipitously and leaving the region in chaos. Ben Farmer, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for your reporting live there in Islamabad.